What's up, boxing fanatic? Because this is anime to do a, you know, wish it could happen type of analysis. This is a big, big, big fight in boxing at 175 pounds. What do you guys think about Donna Stevenson, the Haitian-born uh, Canadian fighter, versus uh, he's a boxer puncher versus uh, Sergey Kovalev from Russia? Okay, <clears throat> both are tall. Both have reach, you know, out of this world. 72 inch reach for uh, the Crusher Kovalev. 24 wins, 22 by knock. I think he's either second or third behind uh, Triple G and knockout percentages at the higher weights or something like that. He's uh, six foot tall. I believe he's about six two or six three. I don't think he's just six foot. Uh, very lanky. Has uh, good good power. I mean, when I'll say great power because when he just touches you when he leans in and he lunges himself and he's very off balance when he does it but he lunges himself all the way out. I don't even know if I can make a reenactment but he lunges kind of crazy like he leans back then he just out of nowhere he faints a little bit and then he just shoots a crazy combination or he'll shoot and throw a right hook but it's like that super off balance, but he lands it like it's clean, and uh, he lands accurate, clean, effective punches. And Kovalev is no joke for any boxer out there right now. One thing I will say is he cannot box on the back foot. He cannot do it. I see and see it over and over and over. In certain fights, he cannot box box going backward, and he can be hit. He's not the Terminator. He's not like Triple G. I will break you, I will destroy you. That's more Triple G, even though Triple G is from Kazakhstan. It's, it's more him in, in Provodnikov has that, where you can hit him with anything, he don't give a fuck, he's still coming forward. Kovalev, when he gets hit, he goes backward. He doesn't like getting hit, but who does like getting hit, you know? It is what it is, but I mean, he doesn't react well to the punches, is what I'm trying to insinuate here. Uh, Stevenson, very intelligent, well-schooled, Emmanuel Stewart-schooled Detroit boxer, puncher from the Colt gym. Very intelligent pressure that he puts on his opponents. He has fun in there. Majority of his fights, he does not make it harder than what it has to be. And he's patient. He throws great double jab, straight left hands, one of his best combinations. His feints are extremely well, and he knocked out Chad Dawson in, I believe, what is it, one round, two rounds, something like that, and did it with one punch. So he has that one punch power, just like Kovalev has that one punch power. Uh, the difference, Stevenson stays on balance when he punches. He, he keeps both feet down. He uses much, much more in just the hip area. Doesn't He lunges, don't get me wrong, because most fighters have to lunge and, and, and use the perfect timing with that speed on their punches. But... He keeps his balance, similar to uh, similar to hmm, trying to think of somebody that really keeps their balance when they throw really hard punches. Almost like Alexis Arguello used to do. When he knocked people out, he kept his balance. He's very well balanced. There was more in the hips and the timing of the punch than anything that com combinated with the power. You know, made the right chemistry that made power. Um, I believe Stevenson, he has a really, really good chance of making Kovalev look silly, making him look stupid. But if Stevenson gets emotional or careless, Kovalev will make him pay and make him pay badly. He will drop him because Stevenson has a problem when somebody throws a left hook, a really good left hook. And Kovalev has a damn good left hook. When he lands it, it just damn near breaks people's jaw. Like, people go down. They just timber. It goes down, you know, and uh, I just feel like it would be a great fight. So much drama, I don't even know what happened. I just think Stevenson has better skills and tools to make it look easy. He can make Kovalev look like he's a smart opponent if he wants to, and that's just being real. I'm not speaking off of emotion or anything because a lot of people on YouTube know that I don't like Sergey Kovalev, but I respect him as a boxer because. He performs in the ring. He's exciting. You know, I sit in front of my television just like the other 1.3 million people that were watching that HBO fight against Agnew. I mean, he 
fucked up agony. You know, he dropped him badly and took his confidence away. He took his soul. I'm going to say that. He took his soul. Now, in the beginning rounds, Agnew was sitting on the ropes, jumping off the ropes, lunging himself, throwing punches just with Cobra. I'm not scared of you. Let's do this. But, you know, he wasn't ready. Like, battle, his speed was troubling Agnew. Agnew couldn't handle his speed. And that's something I see that Cobra does have. Now, Stevenson stays on him and makes him go on the back foot, controls the angles, controls everything. He can make it look really, really easy. It'll just be a 12 round unanimous decision for Stevenson. I'll say 8 rounds to 4. And he beats him up pretty bad because Stevenson hits really hard. I believe Kovalev, the crusher, he'll be able to take some, some sustained punishment throughout 12 rounds because he's never took any cute, really bad punishment. But I look at it like this if Stevenson drops him, I believe he can take Kovalev's soul. Kovalev, he said, I don't like being on the ground, but who does? But you know, he seemed like he has too much pride. He can't understand how he could get knocked down because he feels like I'm the Terminator. I'm the one that's coming in there to fuck you up and knock you out. That's not your job. So I don't think he can handle the pressure of somebody like Stevenson, who's big, strong, tall, and uh, just has a or you know I'm not gonna say he's unorthodox because but he can be at times and throws great left uppercuts, uh, great right hooks and straight left hands and he throws good one two threes and sometimes good four punch combinations so just tell me what you think about this fight I mean I've been analyzing I've been putting in my head over and over and over hopefully it happens in October or November uh, Kathy Duva and them supposedly are going to court and Stevenson because they're supposed to I don't know. Something happened. I'm not sure, so I'm not going to speak on something that's false. But that's just what I heard. That's the rumor. Um, hopefully the fight happens. I don't care about the HBO Showtime back and forth bullshit. Make that fight happen. That's a super fight. That's a big fight. And all the boxing fans would appreciate it. You know, we want to see greatness this year. Last year we saw greatness in 2013. 2014 should, be, it should even be a better year for boxing. So, uh, like I said, drop the comments below, and uh, you know me, I'll get back to you with more boxing analysis, news, and updates. Oh, and if you guys want to know, I say Stevenson, like I said, knocks him out in the early rounds, or he wins a unanimous decision in the 12th. Kovalev, if he wins, he knocks him out early, super duper early. If he goes anything fast early, he'll fuck Kovalev up and make adjustments. So, like I said, let me know what you think. Peace.